to go to this uh, footage. It's, it's all over the Houston Chronicle. It's all over local radio. I saw the FBI in the newspaper saying the police did a great job. Uh, the In the Fed uh, local group. And if you go to Infowars.com, you can um, see the full, full write-up. Um, is basically uh, demonizing demonizing the group and talking about how bad they are. It's Houston Free Thinkers. They also are involved in, in the Fed. And they were just having a, a, an event on private property. And the HPD is now investigating clash between officers and party goers at Houston Free Thinkers event. And so the police show up and start grabbing people. And, and, and it's just watching this video of the police strutting around and then cocking his shotgun. And I like the fact that it doesn't intimidate people when he cocks his shotgun on them, they start howling at what cowards they are. And see, that's the thing. Americans, by and large, are not really scared of the system. They're just lazy. But this type of stuff from the police, especially at First Amendment events, this is the type of stuff that could spark off something really bad. Let's go ahead and go to that video and audio. Now, here it is. Oppression and authority. They don't all right, let's go to Derek Bros joining us via video, a Skype for this little segment the next, and I promise I'm going to your calls for the entire next hour. I interspersed a lot of key news I haven't gotten to yet. But, I mean, Derek, you know, this compared to cops stomping autistic kids' heads for no reason and, and, and obviously getting off on it or beating a homeless man to death and then lying about it, and you know, those cops have been charged. Uh, I mean, this is people getting out of control. And I understand you can get out of control in emotional situations. So I'm not even trying to particularly judge them generally. But the fact that cocking the shotgun and waving guns around at people is being defended in the local media just shows that the establishment media is going to defend this stuff. Exactly what happened? Okay, hey, Alex, how are you doing? Um, we were having an event here in Houston, uh, the Houston Free Thinkers. We do events every three weeks. Uh, we raise money for local charities, and this one was just a big free party, kind of thanking the community to help us. We're, we're having a lot of success out here, as you know. And so we had a, we had 20 bands. We had a bunch of, uh, you know, drinks and free food provided by Food Not Bombs Houston. The police showed up around 10.15. I was notified. I went around the backside to try to talk to them. And like, they, about 10 officers showed up for a noise complaint, supposedly. And I tried to work with them myself and the owner of the venue, uh, the compound, which is actually private property that he lives on and owns. Um, we were telling them we would shut down the back outside stage, and they didn't want to work with us at all. So we kind of went back and forth for about five to ten minutes. And then I saw the cops starting to walk around the property, around the private property, and I asked if they had a warrant. And about that time, one of the other officers asked me if I had an ID on me. And that's just sort of me exercising my rights, but I don't carry ID on me. I'm not operating a motor vehicle. But I told them my birth date, my full name, and I made sure they heard me say I'm not failing to identify myself. And one of the officers asked me to come out to his car, and I asked him if I was being detained. He said I was not, so I told him that I would stay where I was at. And at that point, he grabbed me by the arm and tried to pull me, and I sort of stepped back and told him that, you know, while I respect that you, you know, you're an officer of the law, you're a human being just like me. And you've got to follow the law, and here's the deal. Now they take people to rendition sites. So in the future, it's going to get to the point when there's no real law and order in government that you don't have a choice. You can't go with them because you could disappear. Definitely, and that's kind of what we were trying to avoid. I mean, we have the NDA that's passed recently. We've done a lot of action on it. We're very well known by HPD, so I don't want to be going with them anywhere if I'm not being investigated. And at that point, he grabbed me, both my arms, and started pulling me, and I turned to the crowd that was there and told them, I'm being illegally detained, and everybody pulled out their cameras and their cell phones, and they took me out to the street and kind of threw me on the back of the hood of the car. And that's where one of the videos uh, that you can see where Micah Jackson, the other person he that was involved in this, he uh, started filming me. We did a quick little interview while I was on the back side of the, the cop car, um, and that's in our article on HoustonFreeThinkers.com. And after that, they everybody started coming to the streets, and people were obviously very upset. They know us through the group, and they know us from putting these events on. And I was being taken away, basically kidnapped off private property into the public street. I wasn't told what was going on. And then I guess when the cops realized the situation was escalating, they quickly shoved, shoved me in the back of the cop car. 
and I was stuck back there. I was never told, you know, what was going on or what I was being charged with. And while I was in the car, the officer that put me in there, he was trying to get the district attorney to accept felony and signing a riot charges on me, um, but she wouldn't go for it. So I, I was. So uh, just because you politely up front said. I don't have my ID on me. You have a Fifth Amendment, by the way. You don't have to. That failure to ID stuff's all been thrown out of court, but they don't care. Uh, they still think it's their right to do it. You're there. They've come to you. Uh, this is all happening. And now he's trying to get you for inciting a riot, wanting to show you by putting you in jail. And we've got six million people in prison. Uh, and so we are now the new prison economy. Now, when did it get to the point of pulling the shotgun out and, you know, waving guns around at people? So I'm, I'm in the back of the cop car while, while the cop is sitting there describing to the DA that there's a couple hundred people, we're all drunk and this and that, trying to make it sound like a mad mob. Um, Micah Jackson, a good friend of mine, is outside of, of the uh, car and, you know, rightfully so, people were very upset, so they were expressing their First Amendment and a lot of people think that that gives the cop justification for what followed, but Micah was out there telling them this is what a police state looks like. This, they don't give, they don't, you know, they don't care about authority or about you, they care about authority and at that point, one of the officers, which you can see in the video, walks up behind with Micah with his back to the woods officer. He grabs him from behind, swings him around, and then some other officers join in and they slam him on the back of the cop car. Where they slammed him was exactly where I was sitting. So I saw him face plant onto the window right there. Now and let's be clear, because of his speech, they assaulted him. These guys would be at home in North Korea, and then they pull out the shotguns and stuff to let you know, hey. And there's also, you can hear in the video, they say, your freedom ends tonight. Yep. Yeah, they want to live in a country that doesn't have any liberty. They think that's going to be a great place because they can waddle around with shaved heads and giant pot bellies. But the point is, this is a big facility. They've had parties there. They had a bunch of bands there, hundreds of people. Here come the cops. And our guest, uh, Derek Bros, was being nice, saying, look, uh, you know, I've told you who I am. I'm just trying to talk to you about working with you. And then things escalate. And then they start grabbing people and slamming them into things for saying this is what a police state looks like. Well, that is what a police state looks like. When you see this big, bald, obese cop come stomping over and grabbing him and then slamming him into the car, assaulting him like, like we're scum because someone dared talk back to you. And then that's when things escalate. That's what's going to cause the riot is the cops escalating the situation because you're on such power trips and you can't talk to lowly scum citizens who are just here to pay your paycheck. Now, finishing up, uh, Derek, we've gotten to the point of the shotgun. Uh, there's a lot of videos online of this. Uh, tell us what happened then and then where it went from that point. All right. So I'm in the back of the cop car. Like I said, they started grabbing Micah. They slammed him on the back of the car. And the same cop, and as you can see in the video, the same cop that grabbed him initially is also the same cop that turned around and pulled up a shotgun. He pulls out the shotgun, cocks it in the air, and you can hear him yell to everybody, get back now. And I'm in the back of the cop car. I, you know, I, I kind of lost it there. I started yelling at the cop zone, you know, you, you're accusing us of starting a riot? At every step of this uh, process, they, they escalated the situation by grabbing me and taking me out into the street, by grabbing Micah and handcuffing him without a reason, telling him they were going to charge him with inciting a riot also. And then they told him they were going to charge him with resisting arrest. And, you know, he was never even resisting. He, was, he wasn't even part of it. And then the point out the shotgun, every step of the way, they made things worse. And like you said, you can hear the cop tell Micah, your freedom ends tonight. So after that, I was arrested. I, um, finally, when I made it to the police station, they told me that I would be charged with a Class D misdemeanor, failure to obey a lawful order from a police officer. But I was never told what that lawful order was. And uh, so I, I just pled guilty to get out. I sat 15 hours and got out. And since then, we started collecting videos and we sent out our press release a couple of days ago. And all the local media came and interviewed us. We were interviewed by every station here and most of the media outlets. A couple of them have kind of, of course, said that a local group of conspiracy theorists were attempting to fight with the police or clash with the police. And some people are saying that, that we even called the cops on ourselves to, to create this event. So they're doing their best to, to malign us and make our group sound crazy. But um, Well, they do that now. They're like, they want to get rid of the Federal Reserve. They're conspiracy theorists. Now, having a political view outside the establishment brainwashing is a conspiracy theory. I've seen it in the news where being groped, if you don't like being groped, you're a conspiracy theorist. So now, having an opinion, you're not allowed to have it. I mean, it's just total mind control. And yes, I did see that in the, in the newspaper. And they're like, well, the conspiracy theorists, you know, they deserve it. Good job. 
In fact, I saw some comments in one publication. People are like, he used a shotgun on that scum. They don't believe what they're told by the government. I mean, wow, well, folks, look, look what doing what the government has said has done to us. It's wrecked the country, and it's only going to get worse. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was, sorry, I was going to say that I actually just came back from meeting with uh, HPD Internal Affairs this morning. Um, so we put out the, before we even actually put out the videos and sent the press release, the morning we were going to do that, I was contacted by local media and apparently somebody sent the video into to HPD. So now they're, they're being forced to make a statement on it and apparently the HPD chief is investigating it. All right, well, we'll watch it as it unfolds. Terrible. M Americans meeting together.